In this tutorial, we're going to show how to create a set of nested folders suitable for storing the files and figures that may be present in a typical book project. So what will we cover in this video? We're going to show how to create a set of nested folders which represent a typical book structure. And then we're going to show how LaTeX can find the files in our project using a file called LaTeX MKRC. This image shows the Overleaf project into which we'll add our nested folders. It includes a PNG image which is displayed in the preview pane on the right hand side of the screen. That image will act as a reminder of what we are trying to achieve. A quick note on creating new folders on Overleaf. After you've created a new folder, you will need to put something into that folder before you can create another new folder. If you try to create two new folders without putting anything inside the first one that you created, Overleaf will generate an error and you'll see an error message pop up on the right hand side of the screen. The basic process we'll be using is to create new folders and then drag and drop them into position within the nested folder structure we wish to create. We'll start creating our nested folders with a folder for chapter 1 and into that folder we will add a blank file called chapter1.tech. The next folder we'll add is one called main matter and we will drag our chapter one folder into the main matter folder and here we are starting to create our nested folder structure and effectively the remainder of the process is just creating more folders and then dragging and dropping them into place to create the nested folder structure we're hoping to achieve. The next folder we are going to create is called my book that's the top level folder for our book project we will then drag and drop main matter into the my book folder. We won't show the entire folder structure being created, just a couple more examples and then skip ahead to the finished folder structure. At this point we'll skip ahead to the finished folder structure because it's just a repeat of the process of creating a new folder and then dragging and dropping it into place and it could be a little tedious to watch the whole project. Here is our simple project's final main.tech file. We have used some standard LaTeX book class commands which control chapter numbering and the format of page numbers for the three main sections of our book. Because we have structured our project to use multiple individual files for various parts of our book, we will need to tell LaTeX to include them, and here we use the input command to do that. If we look inside chapter1.tech, we can see that it inputs a file called section1.tech, and if we take a look at section1.tech, we can see that it inputs a file called subsection1.tech, and if we take a look at the file subsection1.tech. Here all we're doing is including a graphics file called figure1.png. Here we'll take a quick scroll through the typeset PDF arising from our simple project and as you can see everything appears to be in order. Various files have been found by LaTeX and the figure file has also been found so everything appears to be working correctly. If you look closely at the files in our project, you'll see there's an additional file we haven't yet mentioned, one called LaTeX MKRC. What happens 
if we delete that file. You'll notice that LaTeX is suddenly unable to find any files in our project. For example, it, it can't find the first file, prelims.tech. So what has happened and why? A LaTeX MKRC file is a configuration file that you can add to your Overleaf project, which gives you more control over how Overleaf runs LaTeX on its servers. In our example, we're going to add a LaTeX MKRC file to our Overleaf project and type into it the instructions required to enable LaTeX to find files and folders within our book project. As you can see, as soon as we've added this file to our project, LaTeX can once again correctly compile our book and doesn't have any problems finding the files and folders necessary to produce the typeset PDF. So to round off this video, we'll just add a few notes on what this LaTeX MKRC file actually is. If you look at the instructions we've added into it, you can see something called tech inputs. And what we're effectively doing is we are telling tech to look for folders starting with the root folder of our book, which is called my book. And from there, look into any files and folders within that folder structure before you look anywhere else to find the tech files. Without these instructions, LaTeX is not aware that our folder structure exists and thus it cannot find the files. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it useful. If you have any suggestions for topics we should cover in future videos, feel free to write to us via the contact form at www.overleaf.com forward slash contact. Thank you.